So, new year, new partnerships. Thank you Squarespace for sponsoring this video and being a sponsor for the coming year. It's gonna be really exciting, uh, but a little bit more on them very soon. Hey everyone, welcome to a new video. Today we are actually at a place where I have visited already a few times. It is the No Limit Stables in Noordwijk. And on this place they do really special things, but you uh, can explain that better in a second. But today we're also here to ride on a horse simulator. So a fake horse that will help us with a lot of the riding and a lot of other things that you're gonna guide us through. Yeah. So, thank you. Well, welcome here, it's yeah. good to have you here. So we're No Limits Noordwijk. We're located between Amsterdam and The Hague in the Netherlands. Uh, we've been open since 2019. Actually, our Royal Queen Maxima opened it. So it's quite and a new stable then. It's very yeah. new, yeah. And um, we are a foundation. So we are aiming for people with a mental disability. Okay. A lot of people with aut autism ride here. Mm -hmm. We have a uh, very, uh, very small stable, so only 13 horses. Okay. Um, and we teach them in lessons. So it's a very high-end location. And yeah. then next to that, we have the simulator. And also on the simulator, we have dressage lessons, which are basically very much focused on the position of the rider. And then we also have um, lessons for people with a disability, and they can ride in a virtual reality um, uh, surrounding. Okay. And they can do like small tests and and that's um, all with the simulator? And that's all with the simulator. So the, so the simulator in itself has become a big part of what you do here at the stables and also makes a big difference, I guess, in the service you can offer. Yes, well, our name is No Limits, so we actually don't see any limits. And the good thing about the simulator is it can walk and, and do its job all day. Yeah, yeah that's so, true. So <laughs> normally we're limited by the horses. We, we really try to take good care of them. Yeah. So, they don't do too much work and we try That's to good, yeah. so but then with the simulator we can help a lot of people um, mm -hmm. actually improve their dressage skills so the horse can move better but also the people with the disability they can come here and they can even use their what we call in dutch pgb a pgb budget they can use it here um, we guide them um, to do their sessions so you will have a go uh, please keep in mind that the horse doesn't react to your voice yeah. or to padding or uh, oh, what, yeah. whatsoever. That's that will be, be difficult. difficult. Yeah. It's going to be difficult and, and you sort of need to get a, the hack of it, like yeah. with yeah. the sensors and everything. So uh, I it's can It's the same as with a real horse, you have to get it used is. to the horse. It takes time. Just, it takes a little bit of time, but um, the feedback that we get from our customers is like after a 45 minute ride, a lesson, it's like a life changer. Yeah. They just... Uh, get so much feedback on their posture, on the position, on the balance, on the hands, yeah. on the relaxation, uh, especially on the legs. And it's cold, so we can probably go inside <laughs> and okay, get started. Okay, let's do that. <laughs> Perfect. This way? Yes. Okay, Caroline, so this is today's horse. This is who we're dealing with. Yes. Have yes. you guys actually named him at all, or is it... Yes, we did a contest and uh, okay. we named him Hero because hero? he was our hero. Oh, I like that. Okay, I'm going to get on Hero then. Um, I don't obviously need a helmet because, <laughs> well, hopefully we're not going anywhere. Um, but I just get on as normal? Yes, you would. Okay, grab my rein so he doesn't run off. <laughs> oh, okay. Okay. Okay, I oh. think, oh, oh wait, we're <laughs> off. Okay, who? Cool. You sort of already gave the instruction to <laughs> yeah. walk. Um, we're first going to do the instruction ride. We actually have three um, possibilities, but we will start with the instruction ride. Yeah, so the dressage simulator has sensors on the leg. One, two, three. And if you press it with the leg, press it wide, you will see a green dot coming oh, up yeah. here. I have to put quite a bit of pressure on it. So exactly. that's good, so then I don't, I don't accidentally do something I don't want to. Exactly, and the same thing is for the reins. Yeah. The bit, it's got also sensors. So uh, also the movement, the lateral movement to left side and the right yeah. side, but also you can pressure it like, and oh, you yeah. will see, you will go to halt. So uh, the only difference with a real horse is normally you can use your body yeah, like and to slow and down. And, yeah. and that's something that the horse doesn't do. So you really okay. need to use, and very subtle, use the reins in order to slow down. Okay. So if you now want to go from halt to walk, 
you will just press both legs on the first sensor, both at the same time, and you will walk. Oh yes, we're walking. Yeah, and if you would do that again, you would go to a medium walk. And you okay. can see the gate on the, on the left side. So, and should I ride now as I do normally to see what that looks like? Or should I already try and put in an effort to be correct? What do you Whatever think? Whatever you want. I'm you should ride. always try to be correct even how you ride normally. No, but I'm going to ride how I do normally because I'm curious what my regular position is like. Because I'm already looking at that dot and I'm thinking, oh, I need some help. <laughs> do you always hit this straight? Yeah. It's ridiculous. But I have to say, it feels, this is a very comfortable horse. So it's also a lot easier to be straight, I think. <laughs> At least it feels that way. So with New Year's comes New Year's resolutions, which means it's time to get all of our acts together. Do you have a website you're working on? Do you have a website you need to build? Or do you have an active website? Well, then Squarespace is for you. Squarespace has hundreds and hundreds of templates so you can create your very own website that has your own look and feel. It's very easy to go in and edit. You don't need to have any coding knowledge. I can even do it myself. I've run my own website on Squarespace for several years now. I've run my shop on there. Um, it works really, really well. Uh, and for anybody out there who's also like me, traveling all the time and not behind a computer always, you can go in and edit everything from your phone as well. So if you need to update stock lists, if you need to change the layout, the photos, promote motion stuff like that you can do that all from your phone if this sounds interesting to you then do use my code which is www.squarespace.com slash and in doing so you'll receive 10 percent off your first purchase of a website or domain so you could actually practice now um, going back to uh, collected walk and halt to feel how the sensors are working oh yeah so that's really good and then go back. oh it even gives a bit of a <laughs> it's like the end of a test. Yeah. <laughs> so now you can go back to walk and even go to trot. Okay, let's try trot. So what we what the the simulator doesn't do is a rising trot. Oh, okay, um, that's nice. We like to sit anyway. <laughs> yeah. And uh, the rider can use the mirror on the side oh, for yeah, the positioning. Have a look. You will see, it will be a little bit more challenging oh to God. stay right in the middle. And to ask for canter? <laughs> oh, there, we're in canter. All right. Should you it's normally stay in the middle with the dot? Uh, yeah. Ah. yeah. The whole That's time. Better. So the, the whole time, even yeah. when it moves. Well, how do you do that? Mine's going all over the place. Oh, oh that feels odd. I'm well, the better your balance is, and the, the less limited the horse is to do yeah. its, its gates, so. Okay, maybe we should do, because if I'm not wrong, you said there was some sort of like, okay, let me bring him back. Um, I wanted to give him a pat, but I don't need to. Uh, there's a setting where you can have like um, a test of how much pressure you hold on both reins and your leg aids as well. Yeah. And that kind of stuff. Yeah. Maybe we can try and see how I fare with that yeah. test, because I'm quite curious to see, I feel like I'm a bit of a crooked rider. I feel like I lean more towards one side than the other. So I'd be curious to see if that's actually true. And I could already see that my balance point was a little bit backward, behind, yeah. So I would be quite interested to see that kind of sheet and what it comes out with. So now the auto training starts. Okay. So the, the simulator moves itself, but it does record everything you do. Okay. So it makes it recording here, it makes the range sensor recording here, and it has the saddle sensor sensor on the left side. So and okay. here you're you can see back and front where your position is in the saddle. So this is really a balancing. Okay, I'm gonna try my best to ride. Oh my god, what's happening? I'm gonna try my best just to ride as I do at home then I can get a bit of a realistic idea of, because I can already see the ball and I can already make some adjustments, but I want to get a bit of an idea naturally where my body goes. How are those lines looking? Is it looking okay or? <laughs> yeah, the rain sensors are perfect. Um, the saddle sensor, well, you see, it's a little bit, um, you're a little bit to the right. Okay. And you're also a little bit to the back, but now in canter, it's more equal. Okay. So, but if you do this a couple of times, you will see it will improve dramatically very fast. Okay, so like yeah. if you have a whole session of 45 minutes, 
you will see it will it will change your position a lot. Have you found that from getting the information from the sensor when you take it back onto a real horse you're able to apply it straight away or do you have to get used to the feeling of being on a on a regular horse let's say back? Well the feedback that we get from customers is that it's it's a real change. Um, being able, especially if they have a 45 minute session, being able to focus fully on that balance. And it's also like an eye opener. Oh, I never thought I was uh, hanging to the right side or the left side. So I've tried to fix it myself a little bit, but from what we just saw, I was really leaning forward. So even though it fixed the sensor visually, it, it, it didn't look right. So I was cheating. <laughs> So maybe now you can help me find that center of balance without having to put myself in a position where my lower legs go back and my chest goes forward. That way I can try and find that balance and then I can fix it correctly. That way it feels good, it looks good, and it's correct for the sensor as well. Exactly. Yeah. Well, you, you tried yourself, but uh, what is key is that the upper leg should be relaxed. Yeah. So there should not be too much tension in, because if there's too much tension, this part, cannot move individually yeah. and that part does uh, do the trick yeah. and um, if, there's not enough, uh, if there's not so much tension here you can have a better movement here and your uh, shoulders and your whole back can stay straight. Yeah. So, and then, so the tension should be here, very relaxed here and then the whole upper body can stay straight. And just flowing with the movement. Yeah. Because I feel like also when I started to fix it myself, I became really stiff to try and fix it, but of course that's not gonna help anything. No, so I need to try I, and stay relaxed. Yeah, and a lot of riders squeeze uh, the upper leg. That is something that we do as humans. Yeah. And that is a, like a natural relaxion, uh, reaction. Uh, even uh, riders that uh, ride at a high level one, once they try to um, have the horse walk or trot more collected, they will they tend to squeeze the upper leg. But that yeah. actually sort of fixes the upper body um, because you need that relaxation. Yeah, and I think I need to stay a bit more relaxed in my hips because we were also talking a little bit about it off camera that I'm a bit blocked in my hips, especially when I was trying to fix it. I need to try and go a little bit more with the movement rather than trying to fix it by holding myself really stiff. So I need to try and not push and pump forward, but just supple up in the hips. Yeah, so I'll you try can that. do that once your upper legs are more relaxed. Yeah, okay. I'll try and take all the tips on board. Would you like to do the two minute session? Yeah, we can do the two minute one. And if you see anything, let me know yeah. that I can fix. Well, you can feel your upper legs yourself. Yeah, so your feels... position is already a lot more straight, but we can see in trot how this will work out. Yeah, I feel like I'm focusing more on just letting my body relax rather than holding it all together. Yeah, so you shouldn't be um, working too much with um, the screen, but yeah. try to have the relaxation. So that the movement really comes from your hips and your whole back can be relaxed. Yeah, that feels much better already actually. And I feel like I'm sitting in the center of the saddle and I'm more straight. And your reins are perfect, your pressure on your reins is perfect. You just, just did a flying change. We love it. <laughs> we love it. <laughs> just like that. Yeah. But you also see when you're talking, you're a little bit distracted and then you see that your body reacts to that. Yeah, it's interesting because after having ridden like this, I feel like I'm much more like tense on my horse and I do the same like when we go back into passage or if I collect more, I squeeze the knees. Mm -hmm. Also when I take him back into like a pirouette or working pirouette, I bring him back on my knees. I don't yeah. really do that much with my hand but I do use my lower leg a lot. I think I need to have a much bigger emphasis on the relaxation and the great tip of not pushing and thrusting the pelvis forward, but just letting it absorb the movement. Mm -hmm. I think that's something that you always try and overcompensate where you feel like you need to do something rather than just letting yourself naturally do it. Yeah. So I think that's something I need to focus more.